Hey guys, it's Stephanie Nicole H. Are you looking for the perfect holiday snack? Well, these candy pecans are addictive and will have the entire house smelling oh so good. You will instantly be put in the holiday spirit. So for all the details, keep watching. So here's all the ingredients you'll need. So pecan halves, sugar, brown sugar, salt, ground cloves, cinnamon, vanilla, nonstick cooking spray, and also two eggs. Also, I did add a secret ingredient, but you'll have to keep watching to find out what it is. So first, I'm just going to mix up all of my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna start with one cup of sugar. And now I'm gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon. Now I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of cloves, which adds a little bit of spice. And now one teaspoon of salt. So now I'm just gonna mix this all together with a wired whisk, making sure to break down those brown sugar pieces. And now for the secret ingredient, nutmeg. How many of you all guessed that? So I'm just adding about a teaspoon of nutmeg to the mixture and mixing it up. So once it's all mixed up, I'm just gonna put this over to the side. So now I'm going to crack two eggs and I'm only going to add the egg whites to my bowl. So now I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla to my egg whites. So now with my wired whisk, I'm just going to whisk together my egg whites and my vanilla until frothy. You can also use a handheld mixer for this. Next time I would definitely use a handheld mixer just because my wrist got super tired trying to whisk so fast trying to make the egg whites frothy. But as you can see, I'm getting it done and the texture of the egg whites is changing. It's becoming light and fluffy. And this is how your egg mixture should look. And now I'm just gonna put this to the side. So now I have my crock pot ready to go. I'm just gonna spray it down with some non-stick cooking spray. And now I'm going to add six cups of half pecans to my crock pot. Each of these bags had about two and a half cups in them, so I'm using two and a half bags. So now I'm just gonna take my egg and vanilla mixture and pour that right on top of my pecans and then just mix that up, making sure that every single pecan is coated.
And now I'm just gonna take my sugar mixture and also pour that right on top of my pecans. Again, mixing that all together, making sure that every single pecan is coated. So this is what your pecans should look like after you put the egg mixture on and then also the sugar mixture. And now I'm just going to set my crock pot to low heat for three hours. Make sure to stir your pecans about every half hour or so just to make sure that nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the crock pot. Also, if the sugar is not dissolving, you'll want to add about a tablespoon of water. I had no issues with my sugar dissolving, so I didn't have to add any water, but that's just a helpful tip. So after your pecans are done, remove from the crock pot and then let cool on a single layer. I just put mine in an aluminum pan and they were perfectly fine. Okay, so that's it, the perfect holiday snack, perfect for your Christmas party, or just to grab a blanket and snuggle up and watch your favorite Christmas movie with and snack on. But be forewarned, you cannot eat just one of these. Also, the bonus, your house will smell amazing with these cooking. So that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.